8051 assembly language control transfer instructions the instruction can be categorized into five functional types we will focus on the control transfer instructions the control transfer instructions provide jump conditional jump loop and call and return operations to control program flow the table shows the control transfer instructions. They are subdivided into unconditional jump and conditional jump. Let's take a look at an example of an assembly language program. The S jump or the short jump instruction. This is an unconditional jump instruction. When the instruction is executed, the program jumps to the label main unconditionally. This is a conditional jump instruction. When the instruction is executed, it can either jump to label M1 or continue executing the next instruction based on certain conditions. C, J, and E. Compare and jump if not equal. This is the syntax of the CJNE instruction. The instruction compares operand 1 and operand 2. If they are not equal, the program jumps to the relative address specified. These are some of the CJNE instructions. Some of the examples of CJNE instructions. Compare content in register R0 and immediate data 15 hex. Compare accumulator and immediate data 15 hex. Compare accumulator and direct byte 15 hex. 15 refers to the data byte address 15 hex. The content in this location is compared to the accumulator. A program that makes use of the CJNE instructions. Let's assume this is the initial contents in the data memory. This instruction causes the accumulator to become 55 hex. Immediate data 10 hex is copied to register R0. Copy accumulator to indirect register R0. The content in R0 provides the address for the data to be copied to. The content in R0 is 10 hex. Therefore, the content in the accumulator is copied to data location 10 hex. Increment R0. R0 becomes 11 hex. CJNER0 and immediate data 15 hex. The content in R0 is compared with immediate data 15 hex. If they are not equal, jump to M1. The program jumps to M1. Copy accumulator to indirect register R0. The content in R0 provides the address for the data to be copied to. The content in R0 is 11 hex. Therefore, the content in the accumulator is copied to data location 11 hex. Increment R0. R0 becomes 12 hex. CJNER0 and immediate data 15 hex. The content in R0 is compared with immediate data 15 hex. If they are not equal, jump to M1. The program jumps to M1. Copy accumulator to indirect register R0. The content in R0 provides the address for the data to be copied to. The content in R0 is 12 hex. Therefore, the content in the accumulator is copied to data location 12 hex. 
increment R0. R0 becomes 13 hex. CJ and ER0 and immediate data 15 hex. The content in R0 is compared with immediate data 15 hex. If they are not equal, jump to M1. The program jumps to M1. Copy accumulator to indirect register R0. The content in R0 provides the address for the data to be copied to. The content in R0 is 13 hex. Therefore, the content in the accumulator is copied to data location 13 hex. Increment R0. R0 becomes 14 hex. CJNE R0 and immediate data 15 hex. The content in R0 is compared with immediate data 15 hex. If they are not equal, jump to M1. The program jumps to M1. Copy accumulator to indirect register R0. The content in R0 provides the address for the data to be copied to. The content in R0 is 14 hex. Therefore, the content in the accumulator is copied to data location 14 hex. Increment R0. R0 becomes 15 hex. CJNE R0 and immediate data 15 hex. The content in R0 is compared with the immediate data 15 hex. They are equal and the program will not jump to M1. The next instruction will be executed. The CJNE instruction has created a loop in the program. The number of times the loop runs is determined by the program. We have done the CJNE instructions. Let's take a look at the DJNZ instructions. DJNZ Decrement and jump if not zero. This is the syntax of the instruction. Operand 1 is decremented by 1. If the result is not zero, jump to the relative address. Example, decrement register R1. If not zero, jump to ABC. Decrement direct byte 10 hex. If not zero, jump to ABC. Direct byte 10 hex refers to data address location 10 hex. Its content is decremented by 1. Let's analyze the program that uses the DJNZ instructions. Let's assume these are the initial contents in the data memory and the accumulator. Zero is copied to the accumulator. Three is copied to register R0. The accumulator is incremented by one. Decrement R0. R0 becomes 0 2 hex. Since R0 is not 0, jump to YY. Increment accumulator. Accumulator is incremented by 1. Decrement R0. R0 becomes 0 1 hex. Since R0 is not 0, jump to YY. Increment accumulator. Accumulator is incremented by 1. Decrement R0. R0 becomes 0 hex. Since R0 is 0, the program does not jump to YY. The program continues executing the next instruction. Notice in this program, a loop is created by the DJNZ instructions. The number of loops the program goes depends on the coding of the program. After finishing the loop, the program exits to the next instruction.
We have done the CJNZE and DJNZ instructions. Let's take a look at the control transfer instruction JZ and JNZ. JZ jump if accumulator is zero. JNZ jump if accumulator is not zero. Let's take a quick look at the program that uses the JNZ instruction. The instruction will cause a jump to M1 if the accumulator is not zero. Otherwise, the program will continue executing the next instruction. Some conditional jump instructions are classified under the Boolean variable manipulation instructions. JC Jump if carry is set. Carry refers to the carry bit in the PSW register. JNC Jump if carry is not set. Let's take a quick look at a program that uses the JNC instruction. The JNC instruction causes a program jump if the carry is not set, meaning if the carry is a zero. Otherwise, the program continues executing the next instructions. Jump bit. Jump if direct bit is set. Jump not bit. Jump if direct bit is not set. Direct bit refers to the bit addressable location in the data memory. Example. Jump bit 0C hex to ABC. The instruction will cause a program jump to ABC if the bit in bit location 0 hex is a 1. We have complete all the control transfer instructions. Some conditional jump instructions are classified under the Boolean variable manipulation instruction.